Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Amy and I'm a runner from Cornwall in the southwest and I like running on the trails, road, anything. I've done quite a few big events in my life and I'm one half of Team Soul and this is the other half, my lovely husband Paul. Hey. And um, we're starting out on a new channel so here we are you can follow our adventures and you can see what we've been up to today and what we're going to be getting up to in the coming weeks joining me out here on the trails it's that place called St Anthony's Head and running back to a place called Port Mellon uh, on South Cornish coast and um, it's all part of a training run today um, so what we've got coming up in the next few months is a um, Basically, we've entered Ultra Trail Snowdonia, which we're doing the baby race at 50k, but it's got 10,800 feet of elevation in it. So it's going to be challenging, and that is on uh, September the 11th in about 10 or 11 weeks' time, I think. So trying to get in the uh, off road training and stuff. And um, in the build up to that, we've got a few races planned. And um, we've just got an entry to the Black Rat, which actually runs on this piece of coast path. Um, and it's 50k. Done it quite a few times before. Um, and so, yeah, just out, out on the course. It's a good piece of coast path for running. So, I'm out at the moment with. Uh, brother soul, John, that's Paul's brother, here's John, and the head there, and um, John's doing the 32, 50k as well, flat rat, and so we are just out getting John some good trail, trail practice, because John's got time to beat this year, so hopefully, ooh, so hopefully, um, yeah, he'll uh, he'll get the time he'd like. So, good views here. So we've uh, just come through Porscato, which is just four miles in to the 32, and um, really good running through there. Really flat and fast, to be honest. So. It's quite a hard race to pace the uh, 50k because you can go off way too hard um, and then suffer later on because at the end of the black rat there's uh, several hundred steps I think um, and it, they come in like the last five miles which are really tough on the coast path so um, yeah so now we're just heading we'll be going up to the the Nair shortly um, can have some steps a moment and um that's the first like real climb going up there Ooh. there goes John's soul the steps so yeah we're uh, going well um pace that well but obviously it is only a training run so we just need to be cautious that we're not going too fast John um, yeah, oh this place, look, this place is great, this is called the Hidden Hut um, and it does really good food and coffees and things it also does uh, like feast nights and stuff and has a lovely view in there. as you can see it's really really wet this morning um, but despite the fact it's raining it's really quite warm so that's all good, hence the coat's gone
So, just got the top of near head, and as you can see, it is absolutely pissing it down. It's so wet. Um, this is the ground. It's just like so wet. Um, but I thought, here we are. This is rat rock. And that's what we see when we're running the rat. Very up. So, John and I have just been having a chat and it's just come to my attention that a run I thought was about maybe 20 max is actually 24 miles. Um, which is great when you're 10 miles in, or I don't know, 11 miles in, whatever we are, and you think you've only got about you're over halfway so great fun um, just cruising up through the jungle here at the moment it's still raining a lot I don't know Yeah, it's very wet today. It's got um, quite cold as well. And we were going up onto the Nair, so, um, hence I've got my jacket on now. And uh, yeah, so, so what the plan is on this run is that, um, this bit's quite technical, um, is that Paul has driven to the end point of Port Mellon. He dropped us off and then he's running back to meet us. So, um, it is so wet, it's unreal. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where Paul gets, because we're, we're moving quite well at the moment. Um, so, yeah, who knows where Paul will be. But yeah, that, that, um, that realisation that you suddenly got a lot further to go than you thought. So we've just found Mr. Sol, the older one. In nice summery Ooh. weather. Look at this, twinning. Wet though. John, John's been in the, bush. in the bushes, falling Pice. over. Bush surfing. Pice. Just wet. Maybe he's laughing. Stay out with it. Right, guys. This Onwards, aren't we? This bit. Huh? Oh, I didn't down there. This bit looks all nicely mm. trimmed. You wait to get down there. So 
So we're now running across Car Hayes, uh, which is a really nice little bit. Um, and we get to see Car Hayes Castle in a moment. And um, then we'll be heading up onto the Dortmund. point which is I think it's the highest point in the whole race um, climbing as you can see well I say climbing it's going uphill for a couple of minutes so it's probably I say it's probably the toughest point you're about 16 17 miles in and um, yeah, it gets a little bit relentless after this, up and down. There's a really nice bit off the Dogman um, for about three miles, which goes into Goran, and I'll try and film some of that in a minute. Um, and that's just a really nice kind of mostly downhill, uh, good running, fast running. Um, yeah, so it's all good. contend with on the coast path quite often is a uh, very narrow pass that doesn't look that narrow in the video but like to run down here it's just really tough really quite a lot of concentration especially when it's all grown in like this hopefully they'll trim it before that day they usually do which is quite useful um, yeah. So we're now about to come into uh, Goran Haven and just as you come up around the corner this is a view you get stunning absolutely beautiful so we've uh, we're going all around this little in here moment so it's probably about half a mile or so but stunning look at that just glorious Haven. We have got three miles to go. Hi. How are you feeling, John? Tired. 
tired and yeah, tired. You're doing alright then? Yeah, no, no, I'm quite happy, but I, I, I'm certainly feeling it now. So, three miles a day. Three miles a day. And then chocolate, yeah. and then up chocolate, and then up chocolate time. Cool. Yeah. Oh, so. so just so I take a moment here uh, this is like my favorite view on the the whole of the like rat course it's when you come into here and you see these here known as the white houses and uh, St Austell Bay there clay country just beautiful there we are going right round stunning as you can see the rain has stopped now, so um, it's not so bad. It's a nice finish to the day. So we're now just um, kind of coming in Port Mellon shortly, and then it'll be coffee down in Mergese. So cannot wait. <laughs> really need a coffee. Uh, we started the run this morning at 6 a.m. I think we've been going about four and a half hours or so, which is good it's um good opportunity for some time on the feet for paul and i because um with our, our snowdonia uts um i think that'll take uh quite a lot of time um we are turning down here it's quite technical Winning. And there we have White Houses. Um, yeah, so so it should be should be good training today for for UTS. And um, yeah, then I mean after UTS in September we're in London Marathon, but whether that goes ahead or not we don't know. And then I've actually got. Um, well we both got country to capital in January and then I've got an entry to the ARC 50 um, at the end of January run by my crew as well check out their, their events um, and then who knows what we'll do after that there's a few things potentially planned we'd like to do but yeah so who knows nice though today, it's good. Have fun, this is my first time I'm using the GoPro Hero 9 to film and it's my my first time using it. So all learning today, all learning. And there's pools down there somewhere, some white houses. We are on home straight. Got a mile and a half, maybe to go, maybe two. And this is Port Mellon and maybe good city. So our car's in Port Mellon and we're just gonna go straight down into Mavic City for coffee. Yeah, bring on the coffee. made it to coffee. Uh, Cornish bakery. Great coffee. Oh and look at the look at the croissants. Yeah. Oh thank you so much. Yeah, That's really nice. Rules after one of those babies. So you have it. You've joined us on a bit of a rat recce. So we've done 23 miles of the course and um, we're now coffee, croissants and a hot chocolate for John.